hi friends welcome to another video in this video we are going to discuss the different types of aggregates so we are going to classify the aggregates uh, in different types based on their source size shape uh, their surface structure and on the basis of their weight um, so if you are someone new to this video then i suggest you to please subscribe this channel for future videos okay so let's get get into the details of this video um, so as I have already told you that in this particular video we are going to discuss the different types of aggregates and their classification so we are going to classify the aggregates on the basis of source um, so uh, you know the aggregates come from different sources for example the gravels um, or the particular aggregates uh, having different sizes that comes from pits uh, and sometimes they are also available uh, at river uh, run deposits uh, and but normally they, they can be extracted from rocks other than that we can also <clears throat> get these uh, uh, aggregates from crushed stones um, so we also classify these aggregates on the basis of different rocks that those rocks actually come from different sources um, such as igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks so if we discuss a little bit detail uh, about these rocks so the igneous rocks actually come from uh, uh, by volcanic action you know there is always um, a process uh, and volcanic activity going on inside the uh, inside uh, our earth and uh, sometimes due to high temperature and pressure results in volcanic eruption and that actually results in the formation of igneous rocks um, then we come then here comes the sedimentary rocks uh, these rocks actually are obtained from inorganic remains of marine animals and they are stratified which means that they are formed and present in the form of layers the next one is metamorphic rocks which are actually formed um, due to the pressure and the heat generated uh, are due to the uh, pressure uh, due to the pressure with that comes from the earth surface or the upper layer of the surface um, so whenever any rock is subjected to pressure or temperature that actually changes into a metamorphic rock so we have different examples of um, rocks that we classify into different categories um, based on their source. Um, so the igneous rocks, the, the example of igneous rock is a granite that is a stone uh, that has a high density and it is used to cut different materials and uh, it is really uh, used in precious material um, the second one is sedimentary rock uh, and um, the 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 stone that comes is limestone from sedimentary rock uh, another one the second one is metamorphic rock uh, so we have example of marble in this case so in sedimentary rock there is limestone as you can see these layers are arranged above each other and each has particular um, a particular layer and the lines so these are the different examples of the different rocks so if we just classify the rocks on the basis of size then we have actually two different um, aggregate types and the first one is fine aggregates and second one is coarse aggregate so the fine aggregates are actually those aggregates having size smaller than 5 mm for example sand has the size less than um, 5 mm if we if we just talk about per, talk particularly about sand its size is lesser than 4.75 millimeter uh, other than that uh, on contrarily if you just talk about coarse aggregates its size is greater than 4.75 or you can say 5 millimeters um, so we have different categories of uh, aggregates um, that uh, actually uh, having different sizes uh, it may range anywhere between 5 mm to 50 mm so we actually classify these aggregates these specially coarse aggregates on the basis of their sizes so how do we know about the coarse aggregates and fine aggregates or their sizes we actually do the process of sieving in the laboratory okay uh, okay so let's move to the next one we classify these aggregates on the basis of shape um, so we have uh, different aggregate shapes uh, such as rounded shape that is shown in figure b you can see it is circular and it's rounded and then we have irregular shape uh, it has irregular symmetry then because there comes angular shape 
uh, angular shape is actually it has different angles and different sides uh, having different angles okay uh, now that comes is um, flaky shape that is uh, you know in flaky shape uh, we have uh, uh, the length and the width of aggregate is almost same uh, other than that we have elongated shape in which uh, the uh, one dimension is actually greater than other so these are the different classifications of aggregates on the basis of um, their shape uh, now we have also the classification of different aggregates on the basis of the texture um, such as glossy texture smooth texture rough or hard structure and uh, we have honeycomb or porous structure so these aggregates uh, can be seen um, physically on the basis uh, on the basis of their shape on the basis of their texture and we can classify them very clearly that what kind of aggregate it is um, so uh, also we have the classification of these aggregates on the basis of weight um, so uh, generally speaking uh, you might have uh, an idea about the different aggregates and we classify these aggregates in three categories um, the very first one is lightweight aggregate having the unit weight is less than 1120 kg per meter cube um, so these aggregates such as expanded clay and uh, um, fall in this category uh, now the second type of um, the aggregates based on weight is a normal weight aggregate that normally we use in construction uh, that you might have also seen in your daily life being used in construction so the unit weight of these aggregates actually vary anywhere between 11 uh, sorry 1520 to 1680 kg per meter cube so the most of the natural aggregates uh, fall in this category that we use in building construction and uh, other uh, buildings um, the next one is the heavy weight aggregates having the density or unit weight is greater, greater than 20 80 kg per meter cube so these are actually high density uh, materials or aggregates uh, uh, such as uh, minerals uh, different minerals of barium iron titanium ores or uh, others so these are the different uh, different types of aggregates that we use in construction and it actually varies uh, depending upon their density their unit weight and some other physical and chemical characteristics um, so in this uh, video we have actually discussed the classification of aggregates on the basis of size shape weight and physical characteristics um, so guys if you have liked this video if you have learned something from this video then uh, please subscribe to our channel because we upload a lot of videos every single day and keep yourself updated and connected so see you later and thanks for watching